Hello, welcome to SharePoint Journey. This is Devendra Veligandla. In this lesson, you will learn how to use Content Search Web Path to roll up team sites. The use case here is like every department in the company are using their own team site for collaboration, and individual users also requesting for the creation of the sites based on the demand. Now, the site collection administrator wanted to keep track of all the team sites which are being created. So we will be using content search web part to show site collection administrators what are the team sites which has been created. So let's open the SharePoint site. This is our uh, site collection where uh, we have a various number of team sites and we will be providing a site collection admin a, a roll up or the list of team sites which has been uh, created in this particular site collection. Okay. Let's click on edit here and click insert web part and from the content roll up choose content search web part and click add to add the web part to the page. Now you could see here some of the items by default it is showing these are the recently modified items which are coming from the search results. Okay now edit the web part to see the web part properties. Now from the web part properties click on change query to build the query to display the team sites. Now from here click on switch to advanced mode and you could see here the details are coming from local SharePoint results source and the query text is path is this site collection and for all the documents and items. Okay. Now, we don't need this section, but we need all the results from within the site collection. So keep the path and the site collection. Okay. Now from the result source, there is one more option called team sites within the tenant. So just click on that and click text query. So you could see here all the team sites which has been created within the tenant are getting displayed here. Okay, but in our case, we want only the team sites within the training site collection. So let's check how this uh, team sites tenant has been built. Let's click on results source, open a new window. It will open a manage results source section where you could see all the results source. And here you can find the uh, team sites one. So just click on that. Now, this result source has some information like general information like title, description, what is the type. Our main motto is to see what is the query which they have used. You could see here they are using a web template STS. Okay, web template is managed property. Okay, so let's close this and go back to our query. Now let's change this back to a local SharePoint results and from the property filter just click on show all managed properties so that we could select the web template now let's search for web template choose the web template here and choose equals from this the select manual value and enter sts here okay now add property filter now the query has been changed with the path and the web template should be equal to STS. So click on text query here. Now you could see the results has been changed. It, it is displaying now only the team sites which are inside the training site collection. So click OK. Now we have built the query. Now we can decide how many number of items we wanted to show. Let's change in this case to 10 and the display templates helps how the search results are getting displayed and display templates basically have the control template and the item template. The control template decides the overall organization of this search results. Just keep that one as a list and the item template decide how the each individual item 
will be displayed within the content search so let's change this one to two lines okay now you could see that immediately it has been changed so we will be just getting the uh, title and you could have control over the property mappings right now if you see here we have only the path and title if you want to change it we could add one more uh, title here I mean manage property but right now I'm just keeping to path and the title okay let's click uh, ok to display all the details before that just change the appearance change it to list of team sites okay just click ok just loading okay and click save now you could see here all the sub sites uh, this one is for the root site so you, you could exclude if you want and you could see these are all the sub sites which are used which are created using team site template i hope this helps thank you for watching this video we'll see you in next lesson